Hello and welcome to another unboxing of strategy battle game Lord of the Rings and today it's another Forge World product the Wardens of Gondor uh, these guys are £30 which is uh, again quite a lot of money however they are genuine Forge World figures there's the Forge World mark packaging Everything looks legit as you can see and this was bought from the Forge World site. Very important for you guys to get it from genuine suppliers. A lot of people out there will get this, uh, remold it in uh, putty, mold it in lead etc. And try and sell it as uh, you know older originals and stuff. It's absolute rubbish. There are no lead versions or metal versions of this model. So if it's not uh, Games Workshop Forge World, it's a fake. Uh, and you don't want to be buying fakes because it, it destroys the hobby in my opinion. Um, so, what do we get in this packet for £30? You get three figures. You get uh, a mounted figure and a foot figure. And you get another foot figure. Okay, so one of these guys is the valiant captain of Minas Tirith, Ingold, who was placed in charge of guarding the northern road um, that passed through the Ramus Echor, the encircling wall that protected the White City. It was Ingold who provided Gandalf and Pippin with permission to pass through the realm of Gondor. For at the time, Denethor had ordered that no strangers cross the borders of the steward's land. Yet, um, at that, at the Battle of Pelennor approached, Ingold and his men were driven from their position by an army from the east, and they retreated to Minas Tirith to strike at their enemies when they assailed the walls of the White City. And another important officer was Hurin, Hurin the Tall. Um, he was a very tall, impressive guy, and he fought valiantly at the Battle of Pelennor. Hurin was uh, fought alongside Imrahil of the um, Swan Knights, the um, Knights of Dol Amroth. And he came to the aid of Irma following the new king's fit of grief fueled rage. Following the defeat of Sauron, and with Denethor dead, Faramir incapacitated in the Houses of Healing, and Aragorn not yet crowned, the rule of Minas Tirith briefly fell to Hurin as the Warden of the Keys. So these are the two very important guys uh, from the Third Age, and uh, I wanted them to add to my Gondorian army, so I decided to do stump up the 30 quid. What am I going to get for my 30 pounds? Let's have a look. So opening the box. Remember kids, don't try this at home. Get somebody else to do it for you. That is a joke of course, I'll just say that because, uh, you know, open it, get a pair of scissors and cut this off neatly. I tend to do it like this because I'm just uh, a bit stupid really, so there you go. Uh, no, but it, it keeps my packaging in place until I'm ready to build and paint this. Um, I'm doing the unboxing video, I may not build and paint it for a, a few days yet. So, taking out the paperwork, there it is, nice pretty, there's the instructions, again written in micro, micro writing, uh, you know, in case a, a spy gets it and deciphers it. Um, so get yourself a pair of magnifying glasses or a, a magnifier so you can read that. Um, but there you go, nice and straight, it's nice to have this to be fair, because if you didn't have this you could be looking at small pieces and thinking what the hell is that and inside the box so check that out now this is fine cast or resin and what's that looks like something's come off one of the sprues oh, that's a head oh just a head he says he drops it to the floor now there you go so that's this little tiny head if you can see that there on my fingers I'm not sure that's going to come out too well um Okay, so let's start with this. What have we got? Got the horse legs. Sort of sound. Okay, none of the weapons are broken. They're all together. Uh, they all seem to move. I remember the old days of this when it first came out. The, these things were quite brittle, but these are actually quite bendy. You can actually hit them in the battle on the battlefield, drop them, hit them with dice, etc. So they're not going to break like they used to, which is good. So there's three swords. Obviously, a mounted one, foot, and uh, foot, or possibly scabbard sword. Um, some more detailing there. A little bit of flash on there, not too much, just comes off, I suppose. Just use it. Yeah, that'll come off pretty easy. There's, there's nothing there that's going to stay on there or cause problems getting off. So that's just a real small piece of flash, but that's fine. Um, cloak detail, very nice. A little bit of 
that. See the detail there on that's very nice. The Wardens of Gondor. Looks like a, oh, it's a leg. It's a leg of a horse. They do this thing. Uh, it must be to do with the moulding, I suppose. They always do one side of the horse. Uh, good to have the tough, isn't it? They always use one side of the horse very detailed, with the legs, and then the other side of the horse is a piece missing, you put it on. So it's to do with the moulding process, I suppose. But the detail there on the horses, you can see, I love painting horses, and you can see that is stunning. Zoom in, there you go. That's great, isn't it? Really nice. So, the detail is great. Again, as usual, from Forge World. There's the shield details. Clubs. You really paint that up nice. Normal paints, inks, washes, lovely stuff. This is where he's the standing brooding figure. I wish this one was a little bit more animated. I can understand why they're doing the standing brooding figure, but uh, it looks a little bit statuesque to me. But um, there you go. Detail is lovely. And there's the other heads. And these chaps. Very nice. It's got the El Gondorian helmet there. Looks like a lot, almost like the second age helm, doesn't it? Yeah. Really nice. So that's what you get in this box. No bases uh, like you get in the um, Elf helm um, box that I reviewed earlier, um, which is a bit of a shame because I do like those bases. They're really nice. Um, but there you go. So this is the Wardens of Gondor, uh, 30 pounds. Uh, yeah, I'll give it a go. I think the price is okay if you're gonna add to uh, the army to finish it off. Um, so yeah, what I'll do, I will crack on with this one and release a video on making and uh, painting them, see how they come out. Thanks for watching.